Hey everybody, it's Carla. Welcome to the Happy Bookmaker. How's everybody doing today? It is a beautiful day in Colorado. We've got a little bit of snow on the ground, but it's melting and um, it's beautiful. Um, I have a little bit of a cold. I was just traveling and you know how you often can catch a cold when traveling on a plane and that has happened to me and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good actually it's just it's annoying is what it is so um but you know what it's it's that time of year it is graduation time of year well it's coming up um so i thought that we would make uh, a graduation memory book or memory album however you want to call that i have these two which i've made I guess it was over a year ago, and they are in my Etsy shop, but we're gonna make another one that is very similar with maybe just, um, you know, the design is gonna be different, but um, also a couple of other little differences. But these are gonna be our sort of um, prototype, if you wanna call it that. So the first thing we're gonna do is sort of go through these and see what we're gonna be doing, and then today we're gonna construct the album, and then in the next video, we're gonna um, go ahead and decorate the inside because it's just too much to try to do it all at one time because it is not an empty album. The, the pages are um, des designed and decorated, um, ready for pictures to be put in or you know notes to be written in, that sort of thing. So let's look at these, they're so cute. They are so cute. Um, okay, let me get this one out of the way. They're very similar, they're very, very similar. So when I first made these albums, um, one of the reasons why I wanted to do these was because I had a, a leftover book of eight by eight cardstock graduation papers. Um, so um, I wanted to use them up because you know I like to use things and not just have them sitting around. So that's a lot of what is in here, and then some are have other kinds of scrapbook papers on them and st and things like that. But for the other book, the new one that we're gonna be doing, I don't have those because I use them all in these two books. So we're gonna be doing something different. So let's start looking at these. Okay, so in this one, and, and what I've done is I've spelled out graduation in, um, you know, scrapbook sticker letters, letter, letter stickers. And then um, I have left the number like, you know, 23, 24, whatever off because, you know, depending on when it actually, gets used, that's gonna change the year. And then also what I'm going to do is take one of these little tags and I'm going to um, put the person's name, like the uh, graduate. Right now I just have name on here. Maybe it's um, Sarah or Jane or whatever. And then that is gonna be attached down here. So that'll be the customizable part of this, um, you know, through my Etsy shop. So this is constructed of chipboard. Now I do believe that this was one sheet, but it's very, it's a very heavy chipboard. And these are just rings. Uh, one inch rings that I got from Office Depot. And then for the inside pages, they all start with something like, like these, like these um, cardstock pages. And I've cut these to eight by eight for our new book. Um, but then, like I said, some of these were already cardstock pieces from that pad. So this one is just a piece of cardstock. And then I added my own little embellishments and things like that to personalize. Um, but, so let's just start at the beginning. So we've got a little pocket in the front and here I've stuck my little um, handmade by the Happy book, happy Bookmaker, that's me. And, um, and then like I said, I just used where I could um, these little pre-made graduation papers, um, cardstock papers, and then added some embellishments. And then I also did, um, like backgrounds to put photos. Now, if you wanted to um, double mat, so you have to keep in mind, like most photos are four by six, right? So what I did was six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So that, was it a quarter? Yes, it is a quarter. Um, so that you have a little overlap. So when you put your picture here, let's see if I can find one, hold on a second. So here's a picture, okay. So when you put your picture here, you've got a little bit of, um, you know, overlap, you know, for, you know, so that you have it like matted. So now if you wanna do a double matting, then your bigger mat obviously has to be more like six and a half and four and a half. And then this is the six and a quarter and the four and a quarter, if that makes sense. I'm sure it does make sense. And then I have some smaller ones in here as well. So, um, so I did a lot of these kind of places to put photographs. And then these are just little, areas to, you know, maybe what's the title of the photograph and that sort of thing. 
Um, and then in some of these papers, some of these are just pieces of white cardstock or black, and they are covered with a decorative um, paper, you know, scrapbook paper. We have a little journaling card here, and then where I have pockets, I've actually put a little uh, note in here that, that that is actually a pocket. It's not just <laughs> for decoration. Um, and a lot of like inspirational sayings, take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go, stuff like that. Um, so it's not all graduation stuff, but it, it is inspirational for a graduate. So then here we have another double matting. Um, now this is where I've done like a four by four. Um, so it's actually four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So that, and it might be a situation where, you know, you have a four by six, but you're cropping it and you just want to have, you know, you're cropping out some of the stuff that you don't want. And so this is a good place to um, map that. And then we've got more journaling areas here. And here's a little place where they might have a little quote that they said. Um, this is just kind of open for whatever, just to place pictures or whatever. And again, we've got a little um, picture mat or whatever and journaling. And I've got lots of places like that. And I really thought it was fun, um, kind of used a lot of these little tags with my tag punch and put some stickers on them. This was, these were so fun. Um, they took me a while. Uh, the decorating did take me a little while, but it was a lot of fun. And more journaling space here. And then this is all open. You can write something here. And then in the back, I do have some like just plain, absolutely plain for doing whatever. Um, you know how you get like in yearbooks, you used to get, you know, all your friends sign your yearbook. Maybe they still do. I don't know. <laughs> I'm from the dark ages, so maybe they don't anymore. But um, so, you know, that that's something that could happen in the back of the book as well. So more, another pocket, more journaling. And then, and basically what I did too was use a lot of the scraps from, you know, obviously when you cut a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, scrap of paper into eight by eight, you're gonna have leftover pieces. And we're gonna have a lot of those for the new one too. So um, so actually that's what this was, was just scraps from the off cuts, right? Um, and then I just kind of covered that seam with some ribbon. This is plain for just throwing in some photos or whatever, um, maybe gluing in some cards or something or possibly like your um, graduation announcement. And then these are just plain as well and another pocket in the back. And then this is, we're gonna do this for the new one as well. And that is, um, hold on. And that is from this template. Can't really see, Can you, it's really hard to see. But here is a graduation robe. Let's see here. Nope. <laughs> That's better, okay. Graduation robe. So these are like paper doll templates, which I had so much fun with. And um, um, you know, paper doll when it comes to like scrapbooking. And then here's a little graduation cap. So we're gonna do the same thing and make a little graduate here. And then we're gonna put a little scroll here. And let's look at take a quick look at that other book. It's virtually the same, except that the papers are a little different. It's a little different layout. Um, so we've got the same situation going on here. We'll put the year in later and we've got a pocket and then this is a fun sheet. I think I only had, I don't think there's one in the other one. I think I only had one, but the name, the class of most likely to, uh, a really fun sheet to fill out for the graduate picture mats. And this is, you know, just to write, you know, what is, what is in the picture? That's mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, you know. Uh, another pocket, and the pockets would be for like cards and special memorabilia that they want to hang on to, or maybe there's you know more little snapshots or pictures that um, they just want to tuck into a pocket. Okay, so really fun stuff. Again, this was all scraps. Even the, these little strips were scraps. More more journaling spots. Um, a plain one just for whatever. Follow your heart. College bound. Fun. Hats off to you. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, lots of places to write and a picture mat. And I love these little um, these little stickers. Do you remember the old, these, it used to be like a little gun kind of thing. And you would, you know, you'd 
dial to the letter and then punch it and then to the next and then punch it until you made these words. Well, I've, I've gotten a couple of packs of these stickers and they're so fun, they're very reminiscent of uh, the old days. <laughs> make it, make today count. Another plain one just for whatever. Got some scraps going on here. That's a fun one. And then this is just plain for doing whatever they wanna do. And good luck. So we're gonna start this book also with chipboard. Now this chipboard came from like a pack of 12 by 12 um, scrapbook papers. It was kind of a kit. Let me get these out of the way. And um, and I just pulled these out. And look look how nice that is. That is so nice. So I, I'm not even going to double this up or anything because this is really sturdy. I've already cut one to 8x8. Eight eight, and it's actually a tad over 8x8. Eight eight, just like by one of those little marks. Um, barely over because you don't want it to be smaller than your pages, obviously. So um, I've already cut this one and then we'll do this one together. Pretty easy stuff. Let's see, we wanna get nice sharp corners here. So let's start, so let's measure out eight and put a little mark here. And then we're gonna do another one. And then we're gonna do another one. And this is probably around about eight inches. Now I could use the other one as a template, um, but since I said I would do this with you, that would be kind of cheating, wouldn't it? And that, well, let's go ahead and do this side. And I'm kind of trying to stick to this corner because this is a nice corner. Like this one's a little bit um, dented, not bad, but a little bit. So again, we're gonna do three marks, eight, eight. And eight. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw a line. We're just gonna line these up. And I'm gonna go, make sure I go to the outside of that line because remember, we don't want this, um, these covers to be smaller than our book. We want them to be um, the same or bigger. And then over here, the same thing. Now let's go this way. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I had to turn it that way. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know. Oh, because I, I know what I was going to do. I was going to do this. Okay. <laughs> it's still morning here. Okay. Um, get it right on the outside. See, this is why you do three. Because you see how this one you can't even see? Um, that's, that's why you do three. Because <laughs> it could be wonky if you just went by two. Okay. Now we're going to do um, X-Acto knife. And make sure you have a really nice sharp blade if you're doing one of these. I could see these also like for a little, what about like a little baby shower book or a memory book. And, and you know, I know you can get big fancy albums, um, you know, at you know stationery stores and Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. But what if you just want like a little book and something inexpensive that you can make out of stuff like this, right? And regular scrap paper. Uh, scrapbook paper. Um, this is ideal. Okay, get on the outside of that. Okay, all right, there we are. Let's see here. Let's see how we did. Yep, it's just a hair over eight, and that's what we wanted. Okay, so we've got our covers. Okay, and then what we've got to work with here is eight by eight pieces of cardstock. Um, so I had 12 pages in the other two books. So again, I'm doing 12, which is gonna give you 24 sides plus the inside covers. So some of these are just plain black cardstock. I don't know where my other ones are. They're in a pile over here. And then a lot of this white cardstock. So when we start decorating, I'm not gonna put the book together as far as in the rings, okay? before we decorate. We're just gonna take a page and um, we're gonna do this part today where we actually lay down um, a paper, okay? And so we're gonna get all that done today. And then the, um, like the pockets and the other embellishments will come in the next video. But um, this will be super easy. These are already cut. I've got my 12 sheets. And so the next thing is really just to, we're gonna cover these. I've already decided what I wanted to use. And this is where I say it's a little bit um, kind of different style. 
um, flowery. Um, I, I just love this paper. And I, I was gonna do something really colorful, but you know, you have to be careful because schools have colors, right? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of hard unless you're doing one um, specifically custom for somebody and they say, I want black and gold or royal blue and gold or whatever it is. Um, you know, you, you wanna kind of keep it fairly neutral. Plus the robe is black. The graduation cap is probably black. I mean, there are gold ones too, but um, black and white is safe <laughs> and gray. So that's what I went with. So, um, so this is gonna be on the front. Now I have to decide. I did have it kind of picked which way I wanted it to go. Yeah, I think it was like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this down like this. Now, um, I'm gonna be using double stick tape this time, this stuff is great because um, you know you just put down a few strips of it and lay it down. No muss, no fuss, and um, you know I used to do stuff like this back in my scrapbooking days. Now the only thing with this is that I think once you put it down, you got to be really sure <laughs> that uh, it's where you want it to be because um, I don't think there's a lot of forgiveness in the tape. You know what I mean, like you better have it where you want it and I think I'll just do like three strips like so and we're gonna do this for the papers too we're gonna save a lot of glue and a lot of mess like that probably don't even need that much and then you just you know this is double stick so you just peel off your little now here's a tricky part right get the nails to work that I will fast forward this part <laughs> Okay, so I've got the tape on here, it's very sticky. Now I don't have to worry too much on this one because this is where it's gonna be folded over, you know, um, so that um, it's really nice and neat right around. So it doesn't have to be exact, but we're gonna get this sort of right in the middle. Okay, push it down. And then we're gonna start folding in. Now I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna look at how I did the other ones because they turned out really well. Paper's a little different than fabric. So, how did I do that? Okay, so it looks like I went in on one end and then went over it, yeah, like with the top. Okay, all right. So we're just gonna fold this over. I'm gonna fold this before I do the tape and then I'm gonna put this strip of tape here. I could use glue for this part too. Okay, so I'm gonna take the bone folder, make that really nice really nice crease it'll help it hold a little bit better so now we'll use the tape <laughs> I'm in a tape mood let's do that okay just have to get it right up to the edge I might have to do some glue just um, when it comes to the corners let's see how this works okay I'm gonna push this down That's nice. And you see like on the inside then, we're gonna have, pick a paper that's coordinating and that's gonna cover up all of our seams. So it's all gonna be nice and neat. Honestly, the hardest part of this is getting this little backing off. <laughs> okay. And then you have all this left over. Okay. That's okay. All right. So look how nice that looks. Isn't that pretty? I can't remember now which way it went, but we'll figure that out. I think it was like this. Yeah, it was like this. So then um, this would be the top and the bottom. So now I'm gonna fold this over and we are going to cut this, give it a, that nice little angle. Just a little bone folder action here. And we're gonna cut this sort of like, this is where sometimes I get myself in trouble. Okay. Now that looks nice, right? That looks nice. Okay, I did okay. All right. Okay. When I'm doing this with fabric, for some reason that never works. I don't know why. I think because of the thickness of it. Okay, so then there's a little bit 
it doesn't matter. Like I said, it's gonna be cut. It's gonna be covered with another sheet. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little strip along here. I might need to put some glue on the very edge because I don't want to mess with cutting this tape at an angle. Okay. Okay, and that's down. You know what? I think it's okay because the other sheet of paper is going to go over like that. So um, that's that's not going anywhere. Those corners are not going anywhere. So, okay, I'm gonna do the other one. Yeah, look how neat that is. Isn't that pretty? Really neat. Okay, so let's pick a paper to put on the back of here. So we just want something that kind of coordinates. Oh, these are, here's my other black <laughs> card stocks. Um, doesn't have to match exactly. I even kind of like, oh, I even kind of like that. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? I'll have to cut it down a little. I wasn't sure which one I was gonna use, um, but that's really pretty. Uh, I'm not loving that one. That would be fine. Yeah. Obviously, the butterflies, but that has no contrast, so I don't wanna use that. Uh, that's boring, okay. Kind of leaning towards, oh, that's cute. Or this, you know, I think I like this. So I'm gonna cut off about, maybe about uh, a half an inch each way. So that'd be like a quarter of an inch all the way around each side. And then um, it'll fit, hopefully, we'll see if that fits in. So I'm taking this over to the paper trimmer and I'm just gonna cut off that uh, half an inch. Okay. Love paper trimmers. <laughs> I've had that one since college. Love it. Okay, that is so pretty. I love it. Okay, um, back to uh, taping. I think. Gosh, at this rate, I might run out of tape, huh? Let's. Uh, this time, I'm going to put it on this paper. I got to see what's up. I think this looks looks like up to me. Okay, so we'll just uh, lay down some strips. So I was just gonna show you, I laid this down and I see it's going in at an angle. I tried to pick it up to reposition and it's, <laughs> it, it doesn't, it, it won't do it. Um, so I'm just gonna cut it and put down another piece. So I'm gonna, actually, how about bone folder? Let's do that. Duh, huh? Okay. Okay, so, ooh, really sticky. Okay, so this is up. And this is up. And we're just gonna very carefully, cause like I said, there's not a lot of room for um, error here. With the glue, you can kind of, you know, maneuver it a little bit. Hey, look at that. That looks nice. That's our inside cover. Isn't that pretty? And then on the outside here, and I'm not sure how far we'll get with this today, but we're gonna do, um, hold on a second. We're gonna do a little mat, and it's gonna be similar to one of these. And uh, I decided already to use black for the outer mat. And then I'm gonna lay this down. Oh, that's the inside cover paper, that's interesting. Um, here, and I'll probably do you know, the corner rounder like I did here. And then our uh, paper doll is gonna go in here. Okay, I just love this paper. This is so cute. Same thing, we're gonna do the tape. Okay, here's our sticky back and we're just gonna turn it over. And oh, I, f I think I forgot to mention uh, for the front, I cut the covers, um, you know, we had eight by eight for the size, so I cut these to 10 by 10 to allow for that overlap so that we can fold it over. And that way you're not fighting with a little tiny um, edge of paper trying to fold it over. We've got plenty of uh, material to work with here. Okay, press that down, it's all good. We'll just start folding in. So we wanna do it like we did the front and the sides came in first and then the top and the bottom went afterwards, so we wanna be consistent. Well, you don't have to be, but <laughs> I'm going to be. How's that? Okay. So I'm gonna fold it first and then tape and cut. Okay, so we're to this point. And again, 
we're going to cut our corners. Just like that, and pull off the little strip. I really like using this tape, this is slick. Pretty. And that's up. Or is it? Well, I think. <laughs> Maybe that's up. I don't know. It does. Yeah, I think this is probably. I don't think it matters, honestly. I think I go through this every single time. I'm going to say that this is up. I'm not sure it matters. Okay. And then, so now again, we need to find a coordinating piece of scrapbook paper. Okay. What do we got here? Now that's kind of fun. And then of course we do, I liked this one before too. That's so pretty. And the, the page for, sh for sure that is gonna go next to the back will be a plain white one because I like to leave in the back, um, you know, some plain pages for doing whatever. And that's pretty. I think I'm gonna do this because it is basically the opposite of the front cover um, reversed, like the blacks, do you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> it is the mirror image of this. So I think we're gonna do that. And again, I'm gonna cut this down. I think it probably goes like this to, um, you know, I'm gonna cut it a half an inch off of each, each side here, and that'll give it a quarter inch extra room all around. Okay, super easy. Okay, yeah, I like that. I really like that. And you can put a pretty pocket on here. Okay, um, let's do the tape. Okay, we've got, whew, right. we got a tape. I did an extra strip on here, I think. Um, we'll see how that works. Um, I'm sure it'll be great. I don't know if it's needed, but okay, now here we go again. I gotta make sure that this is pretty exact. Yeah. We now have our front cover, which goes like this, and our inside, and then our inside back and our outside back. Yeah, how about that? Okay, so now we're gonna cover some of the white cardstocks. All right, let's see what we got here. I think I have nine white and three black. Okay, and then on the black, they have just a little bit of a texture on them. Like this is like kind of like ribbed looking. And then this is, um, I don't know what you call it, but it's it's got a nice texture. And then this one too. So, um, but I will probably put paper on, maybe on one side of the black, but we'll see. And I don't care right now. Um, we don't care about placement because that comes when we put the book together. Then we're gonna decide after they're decorated, what page goes next to what page. So um, it just makes it a little bit easier. So basically I am just gonna go through and um, you know, carefully, <laughs> as carefully as I can, um, lay these papers down. They're cut exact, so I have to make sure that they go down exact. And obviously I'm not gonna keep you on, on the line here while I'm doing that. Oh, I got a little wrinkle there, don't do that. Um, so I'm gonna continue doing these and then um, I'll come back when um, I have all of the sides covered. Okay, so I've got all of my pages covered. Now I don't have both sides covered um, because I'm gonna be doing um, like pockets and things like that and I might go through my papers and cut out a few more, but let me show you what we've got so far. So of course we have our front cover and our back cover, so we've got that. And then we've got all of the um, the white cardstock pages, eight by eight, and I went ahead with the tape, and I used quite a bit of this tape. Um, I think, I threw away the package. I think this was a Scotch brand 
double stick tape, but um, I'm going to need to get more, so I will uh, check that when I get more so I can let you know. Really cool. I mean, that made it so slick. A lot less messy than glue, let me tell you. Um, so these are covered on one side for now, um, but like I said, I might do some more uh, on the other side. And then I do have one black sheet and one white sheet that I'm going to leave completely blank, um, except maybe for a sticker or something. We'll see. And then this is our little matting for our little paper doll. Um, it's not really the doll. It's just the robe and the cap. So that's going to go on the front. And then I thought I would just show you, um, like when it came to laying down on uh, these sheets with the tape, because once you, once you start laying it down with the tape, you cannot pick it up. I, I tried, <laughs> it didn't work. So what I learned was, you know, you got all your tape down here. I started with the corner and then I just kind of, you know, made sure it was right in the corner. And then I just lined it up real quick on each side. And um, of course I don't didn't have tape way in the corner. So um, you have a little bit of give there. And then, um, you know, so you can see it's kind of lined up and then I just pressed it down because if you try to go at it like this, I can almost guarantee you it's going to get off. And even doing it the corner method, I had a couple of them that were skewed just a little bit, but I just trimmed them with um, my handy dandy uh, craft knife, just little slivers of paper to come off of there. So it worked really slick. So um, some of the other things that we're going to be doing in this book are, um, so like these are, that's it's a little, little sticker of some sort. Um, so these are like examples of the mat matting for the uh, pictures and some of them are bigger. And then, so like this would be like a double mat example kind of thing. Um, I found this one that is in the grays. I might see if I can find some more of those. These are like old scraps, uh, scrapbooking supplies that I had. And then a lot of scraps like these. So these are gonna be great for pockets, right? So um, say we wanna lay down a pocket here. Um, I actually, I probably wouldn't because that's so pretty. I wouldn't wanna cover that up. But you know, maybe we wanna put down, not necessarily this one, but a pocket similar to this. So that's what these are gonna be used for. Um, we can cut them thinner and they could be, you know, a belly band or something like that. So we're gonna use this stuff up. I thought it could even be fun to cut some of these butterflies out and just stick them on some pages, um, you know, kind of to tie the whole design together and then even um, might use my butterfly punch. So, um, you know, like out of black and white and just, you know, stick a few of those around. So this is gonna be a little different design than the other two. It's not gonna be, you know, just you know, full graduation. It is graduation, but it's not gonna be, um, you know, everything isn't gonna say graduation. <laughs> you know, it's just gonna be pretty. So um, with graduation touches. So um, also we're gonna be doing um, a lot of these little um, journaling cards um, that are just gonna like, you know, I'm gonna just attach on the pages here and there. And some of these, like I said, are old from my creative memories days, but you know, things like this, how simple. And then a pretty, um, you know, sticker or something like that. As far as the holes, we're gonna wait and do the holes after the decorating, or at least after like all the pockets and things are down, because I don't wanna have to do the holes, you know, and then I have a pocket and then I have to do another hole. So that's all gonna come after. And then I will probably do the holes in the covers first, use that as a template, and then use a pen or pencil, um, you know, to make the marks. And we'll see if I can do punch more than one page at a time. I, I'm not sure, but um, you know, it's not that difficult. There are only 12 sheets, so how hard can that be? So we've got these little journaling tags. And then as far as stickers, and I may try out uh, and find some more, I have to run out and get some supplies. I might look for some different gold letters. And then we've got these like I showed you. And then just these fun, uh, I told you about these, these little stickers. So lucky, uh, focus on the good, do your best, take risks. Um, these are all just like inspirational sayings. They're always great for graduates. I'll always remember you are unique. Um, 
I used a lot of these in the other two books. And then I found these kind of puffy ones. Um, most of them are not, um, you know, appropriate, but celebrate would be a great one, right? So, um, you know, even moments. So these would be really fun to use. And then these I think are like those rub on ones and I'm not sure, I've had them a long time, if they will work, but we might try some of those. And um, I guess that's about it. Um, so um, so we're, I'm gonna get back to you, uh, like hopefully within a few days with um, the second video. Um, I, I am starting kind of a new contract job. Um, it's funny, like when you decide to retire, then <laughs> all this work comes your way. So um, that might hold me up a little bit, hopefully not. Um, so I'm gonna try to get, um, get all the design, um, decorating things gathered up and we'll do the, the decorating video very soon and I will get that posted for you. And um, this is gonna be a really fun little project. So thanks so much for watching guys. As always, I appreciate you and we'll see you next time. Bye.